It was a little bit iffy because uh, when, the, when, when journalists actually checked the, the immigration blacklist, uh, Najib Raza and his wife, Rosma Mansour, were actually on the blacklist uh, and he was not allowed to leave the country. Uh, but uh, overnight, uh, when Najib Raza actually claimed that he was going off on a holiday to Jakarta in Indonesia, uh, and as he was about to reach the airport, uh, the immigrations then released a statement on Facebook saying that Najib Raza and his wife and his wife was actually on the blacklist and they're not allowed to... Uh, to, to leave the country. There was no reason given. Uh, it was just said that they were on the blacklist and they were not allowed to leave. So what's his reaction, apart from him saying, no, I wasn't trying to leave? Does anybody even believe that? I don't think a lot of... Uh, many Malaysians probably might not believe him because of... Uh, because of the, of, the, of the magnitude of the, of the corruption scandal that is actually being... Uh, he's, he's facing. Uh, and uh, he actually tweeted uh, on, his, on his Twitter page saying that uh, he understands that the immigration have blacklisted him and they do not allow him to leave the country. He says that he respects the decision and he will uh, spend time with his family at home instead. When he was at the airport on Saturday morning, the scenes there, did they suggest that he is still a popular figure in Malaysia or did it suggest otherwise, that actually people n might now be resenting him? I think a lot of people are resenting him because uh, the scene at the airport this morning when the public found out about the, the, the private plane that was uh, to take him to Jakarta was at the airport. A mob of about 100 over people were there and they were actually stopping all vehicles that were approaching the airport to check who was in the vehicle, uh, in the vehicles that were arriving and they were very, very angry. It was an angry mob and police had to be deployed.